G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode. Now, internal communications has been a really hot topic and a big topic for me this week, discussing um, different approaches uh, to being able to distribute your messages so that it does uh, reach the intended people where they are. Now, more often than not, we want some type of newsletter distribution across your organization from the intranet. Now, there are a few different ways in which we can do that, and I'm going to show you today an approach that you could take using the out-of-the-box features of SharePoint, uh, and in particular, a new type of page that we can create called a newsletter, uh, but also extending that a little bit so that we can then create a template of our own internal communication newsletter, save that, and then just reuse that template over and over again for our weekly or daily newsletter um, depending on the cadence that you publish this. So let's jump in and have a look. You can see that I'm on just the SharePoint communication side here. Um, there's no customization or anything like that at the moment. So what we can do here is we can click the new button and we can click new news post. Now, ordinarily, you would just see these three standard templates down the bottom here where we've got blank, we've got visual, and we've got basic text. So we'd start one of those and then we'd uh, customize it and add web parts and remove whatever's on the page from those templates. But what you will say, see um, rolling out now and uh, most likely is already in your tenant is this new section up the top here that is made for email. So more often than not, your newsletter is going to be distributed via email uh, to the intended recipients for them to consume. Now, we can see that we've got a couple of different options for us, well, six specifically, and they're based on Microsoft out-of-the-box templates. So we've got blank news, we've got newsletter, we've got event, we've got status update, process, and topic. Now, the one I'm going to focus on here is newsletter. So what I want to do is start from this template, but then change it a little bit and make it custom to what we want to publish internally and then reuse that as a template. So I'm going to click on newsletter. We get a preview of what this newsletter actually looks like, um, the layouts, uh, and it, it will come with this, this content that is uh, pre-added uh, pre to the page. So I'm going to create this post. Now you can see here that it's kind of a, a cut down version of a SharePoint page. Now, when we want to add web parts, this type of page that we're creating we've got a limited set of web parts that we can use, right? So we don't have the full gamut of the whole web part gallery because we're specifically creating content for a newsletter that's going to be distributed both um, distributed both in SharePoint, but also be really um, visually appealing and work really, really well in email clients as well. So we've got these web parts that have been specifically made for email. Now, I'm going to leave everything the same here. I might actually remove, let's just change this template a little bit. So I'm going to remove this image. I'll leave this section here where we've got it split. I'll leave these images and we'll leave the collaborators section down the bottom. Let's just change uh, the image and title so that it's a little bit different. So we might go a color block. We might want to be a, a little bit more bold here. We might browse for uh, some images. So let's now also just change our newsletter image. All right. So let's choose, um, we'll go for some stock images. So let's have a look at some stock images and let's choose this one for our, our header. All right. So that's going to apply as the header image and we can see we can change the focal point if we want to as well. So let's just use that. Let's go uh, newsletter template as the title. And we're going to leave it like that. So what we want to do is we want to uh, reuse this over and over again as our template. So we don't want to have to go in and always remove web parts and then recreate things. So now that we've saved this as a draft, what we want to do is create a template from this draft. So I'm going to edit, pop this page back into edit mode and then click this little drop down and I'm going to go save as template. Now you can see here that the title gets removed. So we're going to give this template a new title. So let's just go our newsletter template like so. And we are now going to save this page template. So we'll save it. It's now saving and we're good to go. We've just created a new uh, newsletter template. Now it is only available inside of this site collection. All right, so if we've got another site that we're also publishing content from, this template is only available in this single site collection. 
So let's jump back onto the home page now and we want to create our first newsletter. So I'm gonna click the new button. I'm gonna go new post. Um, and you can see that we've got our out of the box templates that Microsoft give us, but then we can see saved on this site. Now we can see that we've got this template that we've just created called our newsletter template. And here is the visual representation and preview of that. And then we can create our post. All right. So now you can see that it comes with that adjusted uh, and updated header. We've removed that image and it is our layout and our template. And now we can go ahead and quickly uh, create the content of our newsletter. And when we're ready to go, the good thing about this type of post or this type of page is that we can post and send this. So let's call this edition uh, number one and we'll post and send. Now, when we're posting, it's obviously going to post that to the SharePoint site, but we also get this new option where we can send this, all right? So I'm going to send this to just to a single person, but obviously this would uh, expand, right? So what we would want to do is we would want to have a, uh, whether it's a, a list or a distribution list or a group or something like that, or that contains everybody that we want this uh, newsletter to go out to. So I'm just going to choose uh, Alex as uh, a single recipient right now. So we can either, and down the bottom here, we've got, we can send it as a link or we can send it as a, fu uh, a full bodied email. So I'll hit the send button. That's now being uh, sent to those recipients and those recipients will now receive that newsletter. So I've got Alex's email uh, open on another screen here. So we'll just wait for that email to come through, which it just has, there's the, there's the Bing. And we can see that here's Megan's email, edition number one, I'll click this uh, newsletter now. And you can see that what we do have is a nicely um, uh, presented newsletter inside and, and uh, specifically for email in a single column. And it's got all of our content and it is uh, a user can then uh, consume that newsletter without having to go to SharePoint. So there we go, a, a new uh, way of thinking about distributing your newsletter, um, using templates to make things a lot more streamlined as well, just using out of the box uh, features and functionality there of SharePoint Online. So I hope that brings some value today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.